Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays Prezone Architect. Good days so far in uh, prison number three. No riots, which is really surprising to me. We're uh, making decent money. People seem to be getting some recreation. I know this common room, by the way, is crazy small. Uh, I would like to expand upon it in the future. I'd also like to expand upon our yard in the future. But for now, I think this is working out fairly nicely. Now, we're finishing off like our back wing here. Let's get this started before we get into prison labor. Because I'm really, you know, genuinely concerned about uh, the kind of safety of this area. So, first things first, let's get the rooms decked out here. Laundry is here. Uh, it's big enough. Oh, uh, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, the classroom is not big enough. We can handle that super easily. It's just kind of annoying. That should sort that out. But anyway, let's start with our laundry. Laundry needs a laundry machine. We can put uh, several of these in here. Why not four? And it needs a, an ironing board. We'll put two of these down here. <clears throat> and it needs some laundry baskets and... You know, why not just deck them out like that? We're also going to need to put our utilities in properly, and that's going to require the installation of a large pipe. <laughs> How can you say that with a straight face? And uh, that should more or less handle that. We'll just make sure that has a door attached to it. Uh, we won't talk about our classroom just yet. We are going to need doors uh, on this to assign prisoners to actually work in it, so let's assign some doors like that. And... Workshops had the tendency to be extremely expensive. So we'll keep an eye on that, but uh, just wait until maybe our laundry gets sorted out. I want to make sure everybody's getting fed. Feed all prisoners seems to be working out. Five prisoners say they're well treated. Another way to get prisoners to say they're very well treated is to uh, go to uh, policy and give them large meals. Doesn't cost us that much more money, uh, makes them a lot happier. The meals aren't very good, but you get great portions. And again, this is a little spooky here because we've got so many people in, uh... Is there a riot? I thought there was a riot for a second there. Uh, we've got so many people in such a close kind of area here. But with this laundry room, that clothing need should go down a little bit. That's my hope, at least. We should start looking for another grant, even though I'm going to try not to chase grants as much as I normally do. Subblock B requires 50. That seems like the easiest one for us to possibly get. Um... And education reform is terrible. Staff well-being initiative. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. You know, one really easy way to do that is just hire another guard right away. Yeah. We're going to need a guard eventually anyway. Okay, it's free time. Where do you think you're going, man? He needs freedom. Um, yeah? We're really just going to let him walk out here, huh? Uh, this prisoner needs to be searched. He had a drill. Find this man, please. Yeah, that's what I freaking thought. Welcome to solitary, asshole. I'm sorry, that was maybe a little bit over the top, but at the same time, I don't. This is a prison that I've specifically set up because I don't want those kind of shenanigans. If you want those kind of shenanigans, you best uh, tell your lawyer to get a plea bargain and get you in prison too. Not prison as well, like the second prison that I did. How you guys enjoying your uh, private max security? You have no idea how much it costs me to keep you in here. But, I'm doing it because it keeps you from stabbing other people. I don't get to choose who's in protective custody and, you know, who's ex-law enforcement and stuff like that. All I have to do is protect them. Better to be realistic about it. So our laundry room is set up. We're going to demolish this wall. That should allow us to actually get a classroom going in there. Does, this doesn't look like it's a cleaning cupboard. But they put stuff in it, so it must be. Oh, it's just really, really, really tiny font. Okay. Workshops. Always crazy expensive to get set up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Workshop press. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, carpenter's tables. One, two, three. One, two. Uh... I know that's not necessarily uh, symmetrical, but that's okay. Then we'll install two tables at the back here, and this workshop should be good to go. And we'll start scheduling programs for it and uh, putting work on our calendar. But I do want to designate, even though it might not seem like the most efficient... You're really going to have a drug overdose right now? For real? Uh, I do want to designate uh, this area as medium security only. 
Maximum security. You get your own little prison down there. You don't get to work, all right? Because you have proved, not you as individuals, but you as a group, have proved that you can't stop stabbing. If you could stop stabbing people, I would be much more inclined uh, to, you know, let you maybe learn some skills. But because you have chosen... Really, this still isn't big enough? Oh, because I haven't stretched it yet. Because you have chosen to uh, not forgo your stabbing ways, you get to stay in your cells. You got a nice little setup there. I mean, I feel like I've given you more than... I don't want to say more than you deserve, because that, maybe that sends the wrong message. But I feel like I've given you a lot. Uh, let's get our classroom desks here. I'm giving you a, a genuine, you know, shot at redemption here. Um, we're only going to be able to fit, like, 13 school desks here. And we'll put, like, an office desk like that. And uh, just a chair so our teacher is all right. And a regular door. Regular door is already being installed. Okay. So I don't know if we should actually have our prisoners work on education. Uh, or if we should have them, like, work on their uh, GEDs and stuff like that. Or if we should have them just kind of... I don't know. Like, what, aren't there other things that run in classrooms, like education on alcohol or something like that? Behavioral therapy runs in a psychologist's office. Each prisoner requires a chair. Students sit. This seems super dangerous, but you know what? Let's give it a try. I've never done this before. We'll have like a little uh, sit-down area in our psychologist's office here. Um, and we'll run behavioral therapy. There's zero in Q, but maybe in the future. Alcoholics group therapy runs in a common room. Okay, each prisoner requires a chair. Psych, uh, this is run in a infirmary. Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. All right, I'll start that right now. There's no regime time slot, but we'll get it sorted out. I also definitely do want to roll a workshop safety uh, induction, and we should do kitchen safety and hygiene. And we can assign uh, a bunch of prisoners here. But we're going to need to have like a regular door associated with it. And we're also going to need to put in some metal detectors. Otherwise, we run into trouble. Um, so we'll uh, demolish this or dismantle this object and replace it with a regular door so the prisoners that work in here can be assigned. So our classroom should pretty much be good to go soon. Do we have anybody that even wants to get their uh, foundation program? We do? All right. Well, we'll start it up. I really doubt this is going to work out well for us in the short term, but that's okay. We're here for the long haul, baby. We got lots of money. We can uh, afford to absorb a lot of costs. Now, we can take eight prisoners in today. That'll take us to 36, and then we'll have to build more cells after that. But getting up to 42 prisoner capacity this early is pretty sweet. Uh, we'll hit 50 pretty soon, and that'll uh, complete a grant for us. Our classroom's good to go here. Uh, our workshop. Now, remember, we got to do something with these logs, right? What do we do with them? We need a, a storage room and probably an exports area. So let's give ourselves a, an exports area here. It's going to need to be like a door. Rooms. Exports. Uh, always get confused here. Exports area doesn't need to be enormous yet. Hopefully one day we'll get to that point. Uh, we'll materials it. Fence it in. And uh, I think that means that we can demolish this wall. And we can, like, demolish this wall. And then we'll set up, like, a staff door that staff can use to get around. Alright, here's our new prisoners. Let's see if we need max security. Death by dangerous driving. No reputation. No rep... Oh, some reputation we don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Rob Eid Perez. Fueled by his own twisted sense of morality and logic, Id is never, or sorry, is known as the most deranged psychotic killers of his time. Never once captured, everyone but the warden wonders why it was so easy this time. The warden's hubris will be his downfall. All right, well, that's scary, but, you know, we don't sort you based on your bio. Fernando Hollywood Portillo. Fernando Hollywood Portillo in jail for impersonating a mall cop, mime, rodeo clown, and a bad actor. Are you Kevin James? feel like I'm playing guess who here. Alright, so the chairs... Oh! We got a riot. Really? What happened? I'm so mad. Everything was going so well. 
That's all right, though. We're on day 12. We had our first ride. I mean, mind you, prisoners haven't been coming in since day one. It took, like, until day seven until we got started, but that's okay. The door is not installed yet. Nor I guess we're, we're too busy putting chairs in our psychologist's office to do that. <sighs> well, at least we've got our, you know, medical bed set up here. You know, you can get a nurse back to health. You've, you have a drill, apparently. That's fantastic. We definitely need to install a metal detector. Oh, that needs energy. Okay. We need to install a metal detector here as well. Um, here. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for cleaning up the blood as quickly as possible. It's much appreciated. Did he just move that tree? That's amazing. He is the strongest man in the in the world. I think that this is fine. Yes. Okay, don't just walk in through the hole in the fence. Like, I know it's there, but still. Get that rubble out of there. That door can't close. That's going to give prisoners, like, the easiest escape of all time. Please install the fence. You know, I'm really, really going to need you to install a fence here. Like, right now. And we'll get our uh, electrical cables wired up here. Alright, some light drama. But we are back in the... Uh, Back in the decent category, I think, for our prison actually running according to plan. We've got three people in maximum security. As long as that rate doesn't increase too quickly, I think we're going to be fine. So this is the yard time. Is the pro One of the problems with our yard oftentimes is there's a... Uh, it just takes forever to get in. So I'm just going to install like another couple of doors here. And hopefully this will make it a little easier for people to mill about. Obviously, we're going to need to make a second yard soon. But hey, it could be worse. You could be in the maximum security yard down here. It's like 12 tiles in area. And now it's free time. We do need to set up a work time still, but I'm uh that's the ugliest fence of all time. I just wanted to make sure it got done, but now I regret that decision. All right. Should I fence this off? I think I should fence this off. I know this is an awkward way of doing so, but let's fence this off and put like a staff door in the middle there, just so only staff can get in and out. Unless there's some kind of riot. Just want to make sure our security concerns are, you know, A number one, they're taken care of before we uh, really start allowing people to work like crazy. But I think it's good. Alright. So we need to expand, but first let's get our work stuff sorted out. So, what do we need to get sorted out for work? Uh, well, we might as well take the grants that is like prisoner acclimatization. In order to do this, we'll just go to deployment. We need three in the laundry. Jobs. One, two, three. Three in the cleaning cupboard. And three in the kitchen. Sorry, um, why can't prisoners get into the kitchen? Let me check this out for a second. Why can't prisoners get into the kitchen? There's, it's lacking one door. All right, get that door installed, and then I think it'll be sorted out. All right. Deployment, jobs, one, two, three. Good. Nobody's qualified for it yet, but, you know, when has that ever stopped us? All right, let's set up our regime finally. We've had it kind of working according to plan thus far, but, you know, not optimal. Just good enough to actually work for us. So we're going to open with some sleep from midnight. And then they're going to have some free time. This allows people who still need sleep to sleep more. People who don't need sleep will get up and shower, making the showers less crowded for everybody else. Also, they can handle their recreation stat and stuff like that. This is fine. Then they eat. Then they have free time. Normally, I like to give them like three hours of work here. Then they'll eat again. Then they'll have yard, free time. Let's give them more free time. Because they, uh, at this point, have... Uh, the work took up like one hour of free time. So I think this is fine. Lock up, eat, sleep. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's give this a try. We'll see if this works tomorrow. And as for our programs, how do our programs look? No regime time slot. Reschedule all programs. There we go. They're working. Uh, workplace safety. We're going to have some. Only one in kitchen safety? That doesn't seem right. Maybe there's only space enough for one because they're going to run it in this kitchen down here. If so, that's really dumb. I hit reschedule just to see if that would change it, but that's okay. Uh, behavioral therapy. Let's start that as well. 
All room staff only. Wow, that's a really specific tooltip. I really appreciate that. Um, this psychologist office now will be shared. And then we'll uh, stop it and restart it again. Sweet. Hopefully that works out. And if this allows them to be less violent, I would be stoked. Why is one prisoner awaiting solitary confinement and one needs medical attention? That's a good question. Alright, so we're going to let our prison run for like another day and see if everybody's pretty much good to go. Um, you know, one thing that would probably be smart to do is build like another fence around here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. One thing we should do is go to bureaucracy and just queue up everything that we're missing now. You know, it's going to take a while here. That's okay. And that's expensive. We just spent like 20 grand, but it'll save us in the long term, presumably. Okay, so if we expand... We probably want to expand, uh, like, here. I don't think we need another shower room. But we want, that's why we want to expand here, actually. So let's uh, quickly demolish this fence down here. Which obviously seems a little bit scary, but I don't think we've had to worry about escape so far. And you know what? Tomorrow, if our guards aren't busy because we're not allowing prisoners in anyway, let's do a shakedown after they have their first day at work. Make sure they're not stealing any tools from anywhere. I really like starting a prison with a lot more money. That seems to be very, very nice. We can actually, if we wanted to, put tiles under stuff. You know, not everything has to be in this boring prison tile. I, I believe pathways actually make our workers walk more quickly. Not that, I mean, mostly I'd just be doing it because it looks pretty, but... Prisoners are complaining about a lack of freedom. Is that going to go down now in free time? Yes, it is. Wow, that got handled really quickly. Okay, so we're going to expand, but first I want to plan. A failure to plan is a plan to fail. So we want to get our, like, another cell block here. So we can just use our clone tool to do this, but I want to make sure we're building the foundation to, like, an appropriate size. So we need to build it out like this, because we need that hallway there. And we want to build it out like this, because we want that hallway there. Okay, so our cells will be... Like this big. One, two, three. All the way down to here. And then like this. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we'll have the other side again. Which will come up like this. And we can pretty easily add like groups of 20 capacity here. Which seems freaking sweet to me. And we can save a little bit of space. But maybe we want to build out like a bigger common room down here. Like a huge common room. And then we could repurpose this as, I don't know, like a bigger holding cell or something like that. So yeah, you know what? I say that we make the best common room that, you know... I want to reward these people for being in minimum security or, or normal security. So the way that we're going to want to build out this foundation is... Um, we don't need to build it out that far yet. We can just do it like this and take this away. Is that a big enough common room? I think it is for, you know, like 100 inmates. Less than 100, I guess. So our foundation is going to be built out like so. Please don't break the wall. If you break the wall, all the prisoners will escape. That's going to be bad for business. I think this is a this is a shrewd expansion, and we'll use our clone tool to just put the rest of the uh, the rest of the stuff in there. All right, so one of our one of our grants just got taken care of. I think this will also give us our twenty thousand uh, dollar payout for this grant. Needs eight prisoners have serious complaints. Seems like it's hygiene. Well, yeah, just go shower, man. Danger level is low and increasing. Lack of sleep. You had seven hours. And, and change. Man, our workmen have like a long path to take down here. We kind of, I just want to buy this just so we can install a path or something. Or install a fence around it. Because I was kind of stupid and built all the way down to our limit down here. So I can't build a fence that would like be like a secondary line of defense. Secondary line of defense. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we're running reform programs. Now we're going to see how these go. This is our like drug treatment program. I don't know how our workshop's going to go just yet, but that's okay. So next expansion, I think we build like a huge forestry area right here. 
It goes, uh, it also has like a storage room attached to it so our workers can be fairly effective in what they do. Man, this guy is like exhausted. Take the lead out, Paul, Jesus. Um, yeah, we have like a storage area as well. We use that storage area to, um, oh, you know what, we're finishing these, that's what's happening. Uh, we use the storage area for our workmen, that's great, but mostly it's a huge forested area that we can use to build beds for our workshop, because that place is getting real busy, we're not doing anything with those logs right now. Alright, so this is almost done. We're gonna install a regular door here, and, uh, then we're gonna get ready to demolish these walls. But I really, really hope that this uh, next installation of this door doesn't just completely break our prison. There is a small chance that that is exactly how that's going to go down. What are you mad about now, prisoners? You need sleep. You have... Is it that the workmen were working and they were a little bit too noisy? I'm sorry, but you can't always get what you want, you know? The wall still exists. Okay. We do want to break that wall eventually, but for now, this is good. So let's install our electrical cables first. Just want to make sure everything's getting handled appropriately there. Uh, and we want to install more piping as well. Utilities, large pipe. Uh, <laughs> let's get the large pipe going like this. And uh, we'll make sure that it goes on the back walls, because that's where we're going to put our toilets. Alright, and then we'll just clone tool ourselves, and they're going to be screwed because, like, our workmen are going to be screwed because of the jail door system, but that's fine. And we can get to work in our common room as well, so let's do, like, brick wall. And we'll have a, a couple of entrances here. If there's one tip that's really helped me out in Prison Architect lately, it's put way more entrances than you think you actually need. Because prisoners, they fight trying to get in and out of places. I installed more doors to the yard, but they don't even use them. That's okay. Uh, we should... Make sure that this area is designated medium security only. And did our first day go pretty well? Well, we seem to have like some garden shears that got stolen, but apart from that, it's pretty good. I think we're gonna wait until we get our uh, cell capacity up. Then we'll queue up more prisoners, and then we'll be uh, we'll be ending the episode. But I'm very pleased with this one as well. Of course, the bigger our prison is, the more uh, time it takes to actually get all of our stuff installed here. You know, doing the infrastructure takes forever when you're talking about piping and stuff like that. Was this... T oh, no, never mind. It's only taking a long time because they have to go through, like, the cells here, which requires people to open the jail doors. Anyway. Why are you awaiting solitary? There are solitary rooms. Just take them to solitary. Our guards aren't busy. I don't understand what the problem is. Oh, well. Uh, that's fine for now. You guys are gonna sleep. That should give me a night to get uh, all of our workmen kind of in order here. And hopefully get a nice, uh, much nicer common room set up. And you know what? I'm gonna give this common room a little bonus to say thanks for not rioting too much. Uh, you guys, congratulations. This common room's gonna have a wooden floor. It's expensive, man. It cost me. But it's gonna be nice. It's really gonna tie it together. And plus, you don't wanna be playing, you know, you don't wanna lay your pool table down on a carpeted floor. You're going to get all sorts of weird topographical issues, you know, elevation changes and stuff like that. You don't want that. I'm going to give you guys this so that, uh, this is my way of saying thanks for not rioting. Don't ever, don't let anyone ever tell you I'm not a good warden. Demolish this wall. And, uh, then we'll start to get our prison set up here. Or our next, uh, wing. This is going to be a common room. Oh, that's looking pretty sexy down there. That, and we'll get some televisions going. And my overall goal for this prison might actually just be to sell it back for more money later. But for now, I feel like, uh, where's my, okay, TV's pointed this direction, sure. I feel like, um, this is a good way to, uh, like, we could exist in this prison for a while. I would be happy, I would be content. And I'll put some, like, wide sofas at the back. You know, you can just chill out, relax there. Put some bookshelves down. Not a weapons rack, that's different. Bookshelf. They look surprisingly similar. These are pretty cheap. Get some magazines down there. And we'll just assign some doors here, because we probably will want to deploy a guard. Anyway, I know I said we were going to end the episode when new prisoners came, but it's clear that that's going to take us a little bit more time. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, sincerely, sincerely appreciate your support. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. As always, thanks for watching. Um... Oh, you know what? We, that's why they're awaiting, because we've made... Oh, we've made our solitary area... 
not minim uh yes you know what i mean we're gonna need to make some special maximum security cells solitary cells um we have nothing going on oh those are important rooms yeah we're gonna have to make maximum security solitary rooms which honestly i don't think we need to hire another office here so maybe just objects dismantle objects yeah get out of here um do we really want to have our solitary room, like, right next to the accountant's office? I think mean, the answer to that question is obviously yes. Anyway, we'll handle that in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks in advance, and uh, we'll also late for your support, uh, belatedly, I guess I should say. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.